Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Um, I'm going to do this video uh, real quick. And then, like, probably when I wake up, I'm going to really tear into LeBar Ball for just being... <sighs> dude this is, is a scumbag. And that's just the bottom line. You know, and dude is a hater. And that's all it come down to. You know, um, I wish somebody would call him out. You know, I wish somebody would publicly call him out. I wish one of these NBA athletes would publicly call him out for what he really is and what he really represents. It's just basically a minstrel show from a light-skinned dude. Yeah, I said it. Ask me, do I give it? Yeah, I said it. He ain't nothing but a light-skinned, you know what I'm saying, snickertooth minstrel show. Because at the end of the day, man, this dude is just, he, he just... He just, he just a scumbag. You know, this dude always has to try to tear down somebody else to boost up his son. He always attacks other black men. Dude is a coon. And that's all it come down to. Don't come here talked about he raised his son and all that type of shit. Man, get the fuck out of here. It's all about him. And this dude constantly tries to compete with his sons for camera time. And it's just like, man, dude, can you just sit your ass down and just be a father and watch from afar? Because at the end of the day, man, you just a walking minstrel show, man. Nobody believe you can beat Michael Jordan in a game of one-on-one. You a clown, man. You a clown. Every time I look around, this dude always attacking other black men. He don't have the same energy for the white boys that he have for the brothers. He viciously attacks black men, and he need to be called out for that. You know what I'm saying? He need to be called out for that. So his latest attack is on C.J. McCullen. And Damon Lillard, you know I got a ride for Damon Lillard. He's from the town. But just typical, his sons could do this. And if they played for Portland, they'd win right away. No, no, they wouldn't. No, they wouldn't. Your son couldn't jumpstart the offense at L.A. And that's why his ass got shipped out. And then you trying to give him all the credit for... Zion's success. No, Zion would be a beast pretty much wherever wherever he played because of his natural talent. For real, Zion is making Lonzo a better player. Not the other way around. And like I said before, this this act has ran thin. And this is what I'm saying. Um he's gonna hurt his sons in the long run. Like, for real, anybody that come here trying to big up LeBar Ball, you going to get the fuck off my channel. I'm going to block your ass because I'm not trying to hear that shit. And don't come with the, oh, so people got to agree with you. Well, whatever, man. Yeah. Yeah, you pretty much do because I'm not finna hear no excuses for LeBar Ball because he does this. on. If we going to call other people out, then why do he get a pass? This nigga need to be canceled. This who we should cancel. This dude constantly attacks brothers. But he apologized to white players, but he attacked brothers. But then again, he married to a white woman. So what you expect? Yeah, I said it. I mean, this dude, I mean, we've been dealing with this crap with him for three years now, and it's just tiresome. You know, it's, it's just tiresome how he represent black men. He make black men look so horrible, man. He is the stereotypical loud mouth. And I don't want to hear that stuff about he's a, uh, a good dad. If he was a good dad, he would just sit his ass down and let his sons, you know, do they talking with the basketball and, you know, and basically the stat sheets. But no, like I said, he always has to attack other black men. To big up his sons. And he need to be called out for that publicly. Because somebody need to say that to him. And see he need to be put on blast for that. So. I mean he a clown. He a clown. And that's all I got to say. 
This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.